Clan Ghostbear. The Stranomecti Ghostbear is a patient predator that waits hours, even days, buried in the snow for its prey to come into view. When the moment is right, the massive animal strikes with such lightning speed and strength that the naked eye can barely see the ghost bear at all. The surface of the snow settles again with only a faint bloodstain as evidence of the fierce and deadly battle. Like its namesake, Clan Ghost Bear is a conservative hunter. Never hasty, the prevailing ghost bear attitude is wait and see. When the bear does finally move, the results are swift and often extreme. Once the bear has its mind set on something, nothing can stand in its way. Such is the way of the bear. History. The ghost bears are the only clan to be founded by a married couple, and it almost didn't happen. Hans Jorgensen and Sandra Seng were valued advisors to Nicholas Kerensky. Although they were married, Nicholas had decided to place each of them in separate clans to make best use of his most valuable people. Seng and Jorgensen agreed that they would rather die together than live apart, and so they set out on a journey into the Antarctic of Strana Necti. Their journey became the stuff of legend when a family of ghost bears reportedly saved them from death by starvation and exposure. Regaining their strength, they returned to the clans, and the solidarity shown by Seng and Jorgensen so impressed Nicholas that he let them stay together as Khans of the Ghost Bear clan. The ghost bears thrived in the golden century, but their cautious attitude kept them from standing out. The clan's main advancements were industrial. The asteroid mining techniques they developed during this time gave them a distinct edge in production. When Operation Revival began, the Ghost Bears earned a place in the initial invasion force, attacking the Draconis Combine and Free Roselhag Republic Corridor. Easy victories in the periphery and early encounters with Roselhag troops lulled the Bear Khan into a false sense of security. Together, with a lack of sufficient supplies, this resulted in a poor showing for the Bears through the first two waves of the operation. The turning point was the death of Khan Teresa de Villar. The clan's dynamic oathmaster, Alpha Kabrinsky, succeeded her and immediately called for the removal of the clan's other Khan, citing poor performance in the invasion to date. Kabrinsky nominated Bjorn Jorgensen, who handily defeated the sitting Khan to take over command of the clan. Jorgensen and Kabrinsky immediately initiated sweeping reforms, putting the clan back on track, and their performance in the later stages of the invasion was impressive. On Tukiad, they managed to take one of their objectives, while all the other clans but Wolf and Jade Falcon failed to achieve any sort of victory. Society Hard work and dedication are cornerstones of Ghost Bear daily life. Though these values are typical of the clans, the bears further reinforce them with the concept of family. A word repugnant to all other clans, family has a unique meaning to this clan founded by a married couple. In their years as the Ghost Bears' first Khan, Seng and Jorgensen imparted to their initial 40 warriors a sense of camaraderie and fellowship. To them, the clan was a family, and the father of that family was the Khan. As the years passed, those first warriors passed their sense of pride and belonging to those under their command. The intensity of the relationship faded as the clan grew, but the general sense remained. Ghost Bear warriors maintained tight bonds with their trothkin and star mates. True friendship amongst them is widespread, and some even say love is common among the ranks, although the bears deny this. In the civilian castes, where families are common, as in other clans, the concept is far closer to the inner sphere norm than in other clans. Children generally stay with their parents rather than being raised in community creches, and in most cases this means the creches are more like daycare than permanent home for the children, and the parents take care of their own children as much as they can while still performing their duties for the clan. Military the Ghost Bear Tomans centres on strength and speed, employing mechs with powerful arrays of weapons, often to the point where armour and heat sinks are compromised. They use fast mechs such as the Fire Moth to deploy their significant force of elementals, the largest of any clan. In fact, the Ghost Bears have deployed an entire galaxy consisting solely of elementals. Generally, Ghost Bear clusters consist of two stars of mechs, one star of elementals, and a mixed nova of either mechs and elementals or mechs and aerospace fighters. Ghost Bear training is harsh and especially physical. All warriors undergo personal combat training, and it is interesting to note that Clan Ghost Bear never adopted the aerospace pilot genotype for its pilots, instead using what other clans would consider mech warrior stock for that role. Many suspect the bears made this move not only because of their famous reluctance to adopt new methods, but also because the pilot genotype makes for poor hand-to-hand -hand combatants. Allies and Enemies the Bears are a powerful but moderate clan, and as such offend few, and have worked alongside almost every clan over the years. However, the only clan that could be termed a true ally is Snow Raven, who have worked with the Ghost Bears periodically for the last hundred years. 
The Ghost Bears, comparatively weak aerospace forces, complemented nicely by the Ravens, who benefit from the Bears' exceptional elemental force in battles where the two work together. A powerful clan always attracts rivals, and the Ghost Bears are no exception, though. Topping the list are the Hell's Horses, who have long-running border disputes with the Ghost Bears. One such conflict in the Golden Century resulted in the death of Kilburn Jurgensen, arguably the most popular Ghost Bear Khan in history. The Ghost Bears have held a simmering hatred of the horses ever since. Also, on less than sterling terms with the Bears, are the Steel Vipers, with whom they've just never got along, and Clan Wolf. The Wolf Clan enmity dates back to the annihilation of Clan Wolverine, and the fact that the Ghost Bears were denied the right to participate in that trial. The Bears let a Wolverine unit slip past them in spite, and have regretted it ever since. The scar of that incident is borne to this date by all Ghost Bear warriors, who also harbour a long-standing grudge against the Wolf Clan for failing in the honour of fully destroying the Wolverines when they had the chance.